What's good everyone, welcome back to another gear guide video and this time I'm going to be focusing on Jane Foster's Apex Power gear set, which is also known as the Asgard Scion gear set and also the Priority Mission gear set. So with this gear set, you guys already know you can get it from the Priority Mission that happens every day during Daily Reset or you can obtain it during the Ruskaya Protocol event. So let's go ahead and get it started. We're going to go with her heroic piece first. So with her Apex Power gear set, it actually has some similarities to Thor's Apex Power gear set, but there are a couple perks on each gear slot that are different from what Thor has. So we're going to focus on the heroic one first. So with the heroic piece, it can roll with Valor Precision, Valor and Might, Valor Precision and Might, depending on what type of Jane Foster build you're going for. But obviously, like I mentioned in my Thor, gear guy video with the apex power gear set you definitely want to aim for valor and might because this does consist of using unarmed attacks and you guys can see the perks right there same perks that thor has which is the first two one like the first two perks but then you have something called ultimate cryo hazard which is different from what thor has activating an ultimate heroic on the ground creates a cryo hazard honestly this gear piece is really not that crazy there are other heroic slots that you can get for Jane, you know, in the game, which is much better than this. But if you just, again, want to add it to your collection, you definitely can. And I have it with Valor and Precision, but obviously I would probably try and get it with Valor and Might or Valor, Might and Precision. Moving on to the defensive slot. This can come with Resolve, Resilience, and Intensity. The good thing about this one is the first uh, the first perk can actually have a 34.4 chance of dropping intrinsic orb while the all weapon is active and when the hammer is hitting enemies so it definitely has a chance to drop intrinsic orb which helps with your you know all mother's blessing ability which is basically like odin force so this is all mother's blessing your intrinsic ability exactly like odin force so the defensive slot is actually pretty good for chain but again it just doesn't roll with the precision valor and might and all that it's just defensive stats so this is really good for you know someone who's new to using jane if they're just building her up this is something that will help you with your survivability and also with the perks and then you also have lethal unarmed cryo leak defeating enemies while unarmed spreads cryo status effect to nearby enemies similar to thor's you know defensive slot from the apex power set and then you have ultimate extension increase the duration of all weapon by 8.5 seconds so if you guys are not aware of what all weapon is all weapon is this ultimate heroic ability and the duration is currently 20 seconds but if you have this piece on you'll be about 28.5 seconds so Let's move on to now the range piece. So like I mentioned in my Thor, you know, Apex video as well, the range piece is nothing crazy. It honestly is just something that you guys can just add again to your collection. This can come with intensity, precision, and proficiency. And the third perk, 20% increased damage from hammer attacks. Pretty decent perk. If you're, again, a new player to Jane, you can probably get this gear piece just to un just to use until you get something better because there are a lot more range pieces out there in the game that are much better than this and this can come with different status effects gamma cryo um plasma shock vibranium the only status effect it, you cannot get currently in the game is a sonic one with this gear piece or even the melee slot when it comes to this gear set hopefully they fix that in the future but this can roll with different status effects, but the third perk will remain the same. Moving on to the melee piece, this can, this can come with proficiency, resilience, and might. And obviously with Jane, I highly recommend, similar to Thor, you want to go with light combo finishers and try and get the second perk with signature attacks. So make sure you try and aim for that if you are trying to get like a melee piece like this. And this can also come with different status effects except Sonic. And then it also has that third perk, Ultimate Blessing Breaker, 25% increase to All Mother's Blessing damage while the all weapon is active. Man, I can't talk. 
I'm just trying to make sure I break down this entire gear set for you guys so you guys know what it's about. But with the third perk, 25% increase to all mother's blessing damage while the all weapon is active. Basically what that means is when you use your ultimate heroic ability, which is this right here, and you use your all mother's blessing hitting the right trigger, you'll be able to do extra damage and you get a 25% increase to that damage. So this is the Apex gear set, Apex power gear set for Jane. And I've showed you guys every single slot. The ones that I highly recommend that you guys try and farm for if you are trying to get something for Jane is the defensive slot and then the heroic slot. So that's the video of Jane Foster's Apex Power Exotic Gear Set, also known as a Priority Mission Set, or the Asgard Scion Set. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys want to see more Gear Guide videos, show your support by hitting that like and subscribe button. And I will be posting links to other Gear Guide videos for specific heroes in the description so you can check out their different gear sets that they can get in the game. Until next time, I'm out. You guys take care. Peace.